Hey folks, Joseph Rampoli here at AWE TV, and we have a very special guest. We have Patrick Lickey, and Patrick, uh, tell us about what you're doing with augmented reality and art. Specifically, tell us about your talk yesterday here at AWE 2014. Okay, this is, uh, as, as many new media artists, I'm also a writer, curator, as well as artist. So um, as part of my, as part of my uh, academic work, um, I, um, I, I, I talked about uh, the, the history and the current scene of augmented reality in the fine art world. And uh, basically just gave a laundry list of about uh, basically what everybody's been doing for about the last five to seven years. About Talked about 30 or 40 artists, including uh, you know, B.C. Biederman and Heavy Projects downstairs, Mark Squarek, you know, just a whole, a whole, whole bunch of people just to give the people in the audience an idea of what augmented realities, um, you know, cultural implications are as a fine art medium. Okay. Now, of the years that you've been doing this, are you seeing that it's it's creating a lot more artists that are starting to utilize an, an augmented world and in, in, in showing their expressions? Absolutely. I think that there are two things that are going on. Is, is that on one hand, there are you know the original researchers you know who are uh, you know, who have been interested in augmentation, and you know something gets some traction, you know, you're going to get people who start jumping on the bandwagon. So there's this little exponential curve that's been going up with augmentation and fine art. Um, but um, you know what I also see that's really really interesting is that I see a um, I see a lot of development and maturation in regards to complexity, scale, um, you know, articulation of different ideas, you know, through augmentation, which I think is really, really, really um, um, fascinating, you know, and it's, and say, for example, Claudia Hart just had a uh, show at Bitforms Gallery in, in Chelsea, which, um, you know, was largely AR-based, um, you know, plates and, and uh, sculpture. So, um, you know, this is, this is showing that AR is really, um, you know, hitting the cultural main, you know, hitting the edge of the cultural mainstream right now, which is really exciting for us. Very cool. And, you know, I, I think uh, arts has always been a part of the uh, Augmented uh, World Expo and originally the uh, Augmented Reality event, which was uh, previously before they changed their name. But this year they actually, you know, I think about from an artistic standpoint, this year they also had this um, this wearable, uh, you know, showcase right. that took place, and that was, you know, a tremendous amount of art too. So it just seems like there's an explosion, you know, in fashion wear, which mixes into art and expression that we've never seen before. So what what was your per what was your idea of, of this, you know, seeing this for the first time? Well, the interesting thing about that is that I'm seeing thing, uh, things bleeding over because I'm also a wearable art curator. So um, I've, I've, I've curated a couple of wear, wearable art shows, but not necessarily, you know, about, you know, wearable vision. So um, what's interesting is that I'm starting to see, you know, once again, what we're seeing is that we're seeing a maturation of these, uh, you know, of, of these things. Um, wearable art, it has much more of a history than augmented art. Um, you know, going back to Cassini, you know, all, you know, it's all the, you know, uh, you know fa fashion and art are, you know, are, you know, go back for, you know, decades, if not centuries. But um, what's happening is that seeing things like technological art and augmentation and, you know, and, you know, and vision-based work all starting to come together, um, I think we're at the early stages of seeing kind of like not a singularity but a convergence that I think is going to be really really rich in the next you know two to five years. Awesome great now tell us just briefly about you know you, you had some of your art uh, displayed down on the on the main floor just just wrap up what exactly um, your art was and, and tell us how it was augmented. Okay so um, I had a piece um, I do also um, tapestries which have augmentation in them so what I do is that I have a I, I have a partnership with a um, uh, with a with um, a jacquard digital weaving company in uh, North Carolina and the jacquard weaving method is basically used to be done with punch cards starting in 1803 which is one of the, which is the first um, digital um, 
production method. So, which is really kind of ironic, bringing it in, you know, with the with AR. So, um, my tapestry was based on my um, um, photography of the Kenai Peninsula in in Alaska. It's 21 feet long, five feet tall, and integrated a number of, um, you know, basically. You know, seals, orcas, fish, you know, just things that representing the natural landscape of the Kenai Peninsula. But I also had QR codes that you could also go in and get live information about the Funny River Kenai Peninsula f a wildfire that's uh, raging right now. So I'm looking at it not only as an art artwork, but also as an informatic delivery method, which is, you know, not necessarily, which is, you know, much more, you know, much more humane and aesthetic than, you know, just a, just a LCD screen. Right. So, so basically, I mean, from what I understand, you had the QR codes embedded, which would take you outside to resources that would give you more information about it. Plus, you're also augmenting the, the vision of these different, um, you know, uh, you know, sea animals and, and, you know, other augmented types of uh, wildlife that are taking place on it. Yeah, so basically I had this landscape, so and then all the all the wildlife were, were the augments. Awesome. You know. So yeah, so I had the I had the, the Kenai one of the fjords in the Kenai Peninsula and it was filled with aug augmented wildlife. Awesome. Now listen, Patrick, what's the easiest way for people to get a hold of you or or find out more information about your work? Okay, um, let's see here. I have two websites. One is uh patricklichty dot com, L I C H T Y, or um, my um, um, my um, archive is um, voyd.com, and people can get a hold of me basically at pl at voyd.com. Awesome. Well, thanks for spending time with us, and have a great rest of the conference. Awesome. Thank you. Okay.